Hello and welcome back. This time we are talking about, again, about position measurement, but this time we are talking about inductive position measurement. Inductive position measurement. Okay, so we're talking about this inductive variant of the position measurement. There are two possibilities. One possibility is the so-called differential inductor. Okay. Differential inductor, or in German, Differentialdrossel. And the other possibility is the so-called differential transforma transformator. Differential transformator, differential transformator. Let's talk about the first one. Yeah, let's talk about the first one. The first one is using two coils. Yeah, two coils. And those two coils look, of course, they look like this. Yeah. Two coils next to each other, positioned next to each other. Yeah. There's a hole in the middle, of course, yeah. and there are the wrappings, wire wrappings. Here, those two connections, they are connected to each other, and here we have the other two connections. Okay, those are two coils. Now, I have some ferroelectric material. I have some ferroelectric material, which is usually located in the middle. This is the ferroelectric material. And this ferroelectric material is or can be moved, let's say, with a rod inside those two coils. This rod is moving in this or that direction. Okay. The inductivity of a coil gives the relationship between the magnetic flow inside and the, the, the current which is running in the coil. Yeah. If I'm now having ferromagnetic material inside the coil, this will strengthen the electric uh, the magnetic field. With the same current, I will have more magnetic field inside. This means, if I'm moving this from its middle position, this one will lose inductivity and this one will gain inductivity. Okay, So if I'm moving in this direction, this one gets higher inductivity and this one gets less inductivity. If I'm moving in the other direction, the opposite is true. This one gets less inductivity and this one gets high inductivity. Okay. And this inductivity can be measured. So I measure the inductivity here, I measure the inductivity here, and from the difference of the inductivity, that's why it's called differential inductor, yeah, from the difference of these two inductivities, I can distinguish the position of this ferromagnetic pole here, yeah, ferromagnetic thing. So this is usually made of steel, iron. This is how this differential inductor is working. Yeah. Measure the inductivity of coils. Yeah. And gain or degain weak by moving iron ferromagnetic material inside or outside this coil. And there are two coils, then I have better sensitivity Differential inductor. Differential transformator. Differential transformator. How is this working? Here I also have two coils. Here I also have two coils. And they again are located 
next to each other. So up to now it pretty much looks the same. Here I go in, yeah, then I'm here, okay. Then I move to the opposite side and wind in the other way, yeah, the other direction. Then I'm here, okay. Then I'm here. Now comes the trick. Yeah? It's not only these two coils. There is also a third coil, and the third coil is spanning those two usually. So this is one coil. This is the so-called primary coil, coil, and also connections. This is the primary coil of the transformator, yeah. and these two things here are the secondary coils. Coils, because there are two primary coil, secondary coil. If I now would use this as transformator, since both are then having the same magnetic flow yeah, and the same change of the magnetic flow, and if they have the same windings, but one is winded in this direction and one is winded in this direction, okay, then I would induct here a voltage let's say positive, yeah, and here a negative one. And in total, I would have here zero. So there is, there is some voltage. Yeah. I can measure here some voltage. Yeah. But this will be zero. And now, again, there is the trick with the ferromagnetic material. Yeah. Ferromagnetic material. Oh, again, a rod, which is not ferromagnetic, of course, is there, which can move this ferromagnetic part inside. This ferromagnetic part is going to strengthen the magnetic field of the primary coil, but only in this area, maybe a little bit here, around also, but basically in this area. Okay. If it's located like this, I have the field strength here and here the same and will get zero voltage. If I'm moving in this direction, okay, if I'm moving in this direction, this will get more magnetic field and this will get less magnetic field. This means this voltage will increase and this voltage will drop. So I'm getting here voltage. Yeah, I can measure some voltage. If I'm moving in the other direction, this one will increase and this one will drop, okay, and I'm getting here voltage again, but in the other direction. Yeah? Since they are usually uh, AC voltages, I cannot really distinguish the direction. It's just a shift of, of phase, a phase shift. Yeah. So for me, if if we are looking, if we are looking at the strength of the voltage, yeah, then it looks like this middle position yeah. and if we are outside middle position the voltage will increase in both directions and maybe out of the out of the phase shift I can then calculate to see in which direction this thing here has moved okay differential transformer Measure the voltage, know where this thing is inside. Both things are inductive position measurement systems. Both things, both things, I will beauty this up here as well. Both things 
are in used, are in use, in used, in Houston. <laughs> Both things are in use, of course. Yeah, this is why I'm telling you this. Here it's a simple voltage measurement. Here I need to have some some uh, device which is evaluating. Of course, this one is much simpler yeah, than this one. Yeah. However, here the measurement is simple. Yeah. Just use your multimeter and measure. Okay. That's inductive position measurement. Next time we are going to talk about capacitive position measurement. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.